Hey guys, so this is a video about my leopard gecko. I'm just doing some stuff about her. So this is her tank. It's an Exoterra um, Biosphere, I think it's called. And this is where she is housed currently. It's got a heat mat under the substrate. She's got her calciumated worms, her water bowl, her cold hide and her warm hide. As well as some calcium over there just in case she hasn't got enough. There's also vitamins smeared on the inside of that just in case she hasn't got enough of them. And we've got the thermostat and the little probe thing to tell if it's warm enough in there. So yeah now let's show you her. Okay so here she is. That it lids will open because it gives better light in so yeah here she is she's a normal pattern normal morph i mean she's pretty cool she's got a fat tail she's young though she's pretty young and pretty small she doesn't weigh much either but i am feeding her correctly and giving her everything she needs to live she's just a bit small like all geckos are different and she's definitely not one of the big ones, like the bigger types. Hold on a minute. Okay, sorry. She was just climbing up my arm. I didn't want to lose her again. Last time she did that, she ended up musking all over me. It wasn't very nice. Like, usually they don't do that, but whatever. So, yeah, as I said, she's in normal pattern. I actually bought her, yeah, when she was younger. Right there on the base of her tail, there was a happy face. It's not there anymore. It faded and it, like got weird. But yeah, she, she her pink things also used to be bigger. However, as she lost her happy face, she gained a sad face. Is that it? Yeah. No, that's not it. I'm trying to find it. I'm telling you, there's a sad face on there. Um. Hold on, okay, I'll find it. Okay, so right there, sad face, boom, sad face, boom. It's trying to focus. I'm recording this on my iPhone, so it's not very good. But yeah, if you can see that sad face with a crap haircut. Yeah, so she's a pretty cool gecko. Nice pattern. She's usually a little bit brighter than this, but she's on a shed soon. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to um, other stuff. Just now. bring her back into the thing because I like showing this, it's cool. I'll just put her hide back how it was. Find your way, little geck. Oh, okay, I'll just record this part because it's pretty nice. Just watch her so. I'll shut up for a second and do a thing. Alright, well, let's move on because this is a bit boring. Wait, are you going to go in? Go on. Yay, your warm hide. How exciting. All right, so now we're going to move on to some other stuff. So we're going to be talking about what I use to keep my gecko healthy and alive. Her name is Sparky, by the way. I probably already said that, but just in case I forgot because I'm a bit dumb. So we're going to start off with her supplements. So she has two. She has, well, she has her... Exoterra uh, multivitamin. It's got vitamin D3 and like all the others. It says right here if you want to get this type. They do lots of different types in shops. I just chose this one because it had a chameleon on the cover and it had all good stuff in the descriptions. I'll just put it here for now. Focus. Focus. Okay, so next. Yay. We got calcium. So this one has a gargoyle gecko on the front. So that's cool. 
So yeah, this is just exactly the same, only has calcium. So, yeah. I actually got both of these for my cat Manfrog, who recently passed away, which wasn't very nice. So yeah, I would show a picture, but I can't edit, and I don't have one on my phone, I don't think. So, let's move on to a different thing. So, no more supplements anymore. Right, so... Now we got our... Ah! I was trying to do a thing. Repto-safe, so... Repto-safe by Tetra. So, basically, this is just... Hold up. Oh, I hate that. So... Ah! No, my hand's falling. Ah! So, this is basically just, like, dechlorinates her water. Just put, like, a couple drops in there. And it keeps her water nice and clean. And it's new and it just makes sure all the fluorine and chlorine and bad chemicals from the water are gone. So that's pretty good. Right, right, so here's what thing. I feed her. I feed her mealworms, which makes up her main diet. So as you can see here, they're all like swimming around. They got a bit of dead cockroach in there because the cockroach just came with a bit of dead cockroach. So that's always nice to feed. And then we've got our cockroaches, so dubia roaches. So here's one little cockroach. Hi, how's it going? Oh, oh okay, bye. Well, not bye, because you're standing there. What are you doing? So yeah, there's more than just one in here. I don't like doing this because they're mean to me. Wait, oh yeah, they're all under there. So yeah, we got roaches. So unlike your kitchen roaches, these ones are not going to transfer any diseases and they can't survive in our house. So they need to be in like warm environments. So if they were to escape, they would just die. So yeah, that's, that's neat. So yeah, this has been pretty much the video. We're just going to do one last thing for the video. So since my gecko doesn't like to eat in front of me, but well, I know she eats, but like she doesn't like to eat in front of me, so we're going to feed my hamster instead. So oh, Okay, so here she is, my little hamster. She's a Syrian hamster, and her name is Sunday. I'll do a proper video on her soon. But we're just going to feed her some mealworms. Yes, you can feed hamsters live creatures. So long as you're not being cruel about it. And make sure they can handle the creature. So like, don't feed the hamster a rat. Please. So, let's see if she's hungry. You gonna, you gonna eat? Hamster blood, what are you doing? You gone eat. It's gone eat your poo if if you don't eat it. What are you doing? You crazy cat, aren't you? Hold on, let me open up the lid. She's a super tame hamster. And we love her very, very much. Hamster, come here. I don't trust her near my hand, so I'm just going to drop it in there. Go on, eat it. Okay, I'm sorry, usually she does, but like, she's not in the right position. Come on, get up here. Just get somewhere. Oh my god. Okay, well, this has been a fun Thank video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more um, stuff. I'll be doing more pets, more leopard gecko stuff. And like, I'm not sure, but like... It'll, it'll all be related to animals, so shut up, dog. So, yeah, uh, goodbye, fellow friends.